hello i'm doing another youtube video on um, it's not complete but it's a new 4-bit cpu with and this is the old one and i actually finished the ram so ram module i will do another video on that square root extractor over there and okay let's check out the non-complete um like whole thing so we have the flags for the alu and stuff and this is just our clock which i'm gonna add so this is all of our things we could save as a and b which for our alu then we have the address and we have the data and we have and x or add and subtract so this is in subtract mode and now it's in add mode this is your uh carry um which is 16 so if you're in um subtractor mode which is right now that carry will be flagged up so and we don't want that and even if you subtract 8 from 8 you'll get 0 so and so that just deactivates that with this inverted torch and let that load through and I just use some torch towers simple and I'm gonna build the instruction set back here and I'm gonna make a Fibonacci sequence and this is the data display and this is the ALU raw binary display so let's set address to 0000, zero, zero, zero which would be our zero line of code or our first line of code basically but it's in binary so let's send let's send over three let's write that data and there's change last right so the change your address and let's actually read that data real quick and to read data you i just flick this redstone torch or lever and it goes down and it inverts these so that uh, comparators it's just a way so that you don't always have to look at it but yeah and these this re reset and the send to alu not done yet but now what we can do is we just sent that this we could send to the alu by saving safe as a so that will just go to the all the a inputs this is an input this is a it's a sub actually we'll subtract an and an adder and that will save so far and that's gonna go to your decimal display mm, three plus it's gonna give me eight um, five yeah let's do five now let's change our data to five which is four or one plus four or four plus one which is one zero one zero and now let's save that as B and now let that update and it should be updating the RAM wait hold on uh for uh five six seven eight wait four five six um let me see what did I mess thing up wait hold on I inputted let me just check my display here Oh, I didn't press change slash right. Okay, that's what I forgot. Now let's save and be. Now you should be working. There we go. Now we got eight. Okay, that's what was wrong. See, you gotta make sure you update it. And there's gonna be a whole um, uh, programmable thing back here. It's also and I will program machine learning so now we got four and one is our now data and it's RAM and I don't use you can change the addresses so you can set this address then you can do this address and 
let's hmm yeah and I'll show you how to use the ramp so let's write this to here and there we go write zero and save as a save as b as a zero and now we should get zero and let yeah let's read anyways okay so um yeah let's just do it here it's gonna be a little bit easier so right now we're on address line zero let's input a one let's write that to data and i haven't really tested it yet but and now we just wrote that to that address now let's change the address to the first address and write a three into it so change slash write now we wrote a three into the data and let's switch over to the other address and change oh and it's probably gonna clear but i don't know yeah it did clear and uh, here uh let's see i still gotta update it there we go yep it did clear so change so first we gotta do the address and then this so maybe an extra couple tip delay like so mm, that should work and well let's actually do it in other video go or not in the other video so first we're on address line zero here let's input some data oh. let's input this data now let's write that data wrote that data let's hop over to another address and now data disappeared but it's still stored but no signal can go through so now let's write this data now we can go here change the address back to zero and now we'll update and we can also change that which would just take only do that so now we can save it all as a zero because all are zero let's go to the zero and i did a video on this this one's just updated to be in binary and it's 8-bit so i can use it for a 6-bit computer because oh. and because the these two would probably be not useful if i did it in 6-bit or a 4-bit so i could just not use those but yeah so let's actually check out the square root extractor and that's the that so um let's send let's do the square root of seven and it's two point six point or two point six four two point six four and that is right and let me just clear this all I did was I just put an addressing system oh yeah I did one two three four five six seven two point four four wait two point four four let me do it again this is the square root seven two point it should be two point four four it's not uh Okay, I accidentally let me find the line, and I do not want this. Okay, now it should be 2.44. There we go. And this is this an XOR gate I did because I was barred. So that's all.